Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two intersecting codes A, B and C, D are fully inscribed in a circle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that they intersect each other at point P and they are uh, perpendicular to each other. And moreover, this uh, line segment uh, A, P is uh, 8 units. This uh, line segment uh, PB is 6 and finally this uh, line segment uh, PD is uh, 12 units as well and O is the center of this uh, circle and now our task is to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in your mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And in this video, I am going to show you two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first uh, method that I'm going to be sharing with you. And now let's go ahead and do the some observation. We can see that these uh, two intersecting codes, A, B and C, D, give us uh, these uh, line segments 8, 6 and this line segment uh, 12 but this line segment uh, CP is uh, unknown so therefore our first task is to calculate the value of this uh, unknown side so therefore let's recall this uh, intersecting codes theorem if two codes intersect in a circle then the product of the measures of the segments of the codes are equal as you can see in this uh, diagram and here we got these uh, two intersecting codes such that uh, the product A times B equal to C times uh, D as you can see in this uh, equation. Therefore, let me go ahead and label this uh, segment as an A, this as a segment B, this as segment C and this finally as segment uh, D. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, intersecting codes uh, formula. In our case, our A is 8, B is 6, C is unknown and D is 12. So therefore, this is going to become 8 times 6 equal to C times 12. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 12. This 12 and 12 is gone. So therefore, our C value turns out to be 4 units so thus our this uh, line segment uh, cp turns out to be four and here's our next step we have drawn uh, this perpendicular from this center o onto this uh, line a b at uh, this point e as you can see in this uh, next diagram and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem according to this theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord then the radius uh, bisects the chord into two equal parts and we can see in our case uh, this uh, OE bisects uh, this uh, line segment uh, AB into two equal parts uh, this side AE and uh, EB and we know this total AB length is uh, 8 plus 6 that is going to give us uh, 14 since we are looking after half of that one so 14 divided by 2 is going to be 7 units so therefore this line segment a is e is going to be 7 and a b is going to be 7 units as well and here's our next step uh, this time we have drawn this uh, perpendicular from this uh, center o onto this uh, line uh, c d at uh, point f as you can see and let's recall this uh, perpendicular bisector theorem once again. According to this theorem, uh, this perpendicular uh, OF uh, bisects uh, this uh, whole uh, line uh, CD into two equal uh, parts. We know that the whole distance uh, CD is uh, 4 plus 12 that is going to give us uh, 16 and we are going to divide by 2. So that is going to give us uh, 8 units. So therefore this line segment uh, CF is going to be 
8 units and this line segment FD is going to be 8 units as well. And let's go ahead and make some observation. We know this uh, line segment uh, CF is 8 units and this uh, tiny segment uh, CP is 4. So therefore this uh, segment uh, PF is going to be 8 minus 4 is going to give us uh, 4 units so therefore our this uh, line segment uh, pf turns out to be four units and since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle ofpe if this side length is four this side length oe is going to be four units as well and here's our next step we have uh, connected uh, these points a and uh, o such that we got this uh, right triangle uh, a e o and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a e o whose uh, side lengths are uh, 7 4 and this uh, a o is the radius uh, of this circle so let me go ahead and represent this one uh, as lowercase r and now we are going to find the value of r by using the pythagorean uh, theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula a in our case 7. So this becomes 7 square plus b is 4. So it's going to become 4 square equal to c in our case is radius r. So it's going to become r square are simply r square equal to 65. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So our radius r turns out to be positive value of square root of 65. So therefore our this radius r of this circle turns out to be square root of 65. And now I'm going to share with you the second method to calculate the radius r of this uh, circle. Therefore, let me go ahead and call this uh, segment AP as an A, this segment uh, PB as uh, lowercase b, this uh, segment uh, CP as C, and this uh, segment uh, PD as uh, lowercase uh, d. Then our A value is going to be 8, our B value is going to be 6, C value is 4, and finally D value is going to be 12 units. And we are going to plug it in all those values in this uh, formula. R square equals to A square plus B square plus C square plus uh, D square all over 4. And if you are wondering how I got uh, this uh, formula, I could show you the proof uh, pretty soon in my next uh, video. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. R square equal to A in our case is 8 whole square. B is 6 whole square plus C is 4 whole square plus D is 12 whole square all over 4. And in this next step, 8 square is 64, 6 square is 36, 4 square is 16 plus 144. So if we simplify furthermore that is going to give us r square equal to 260 divided by 4. So therefore r square equal to 65. Let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides. So therefore our radius r turns out to be square root of 65 units. So thus the radius of this circle turns out to be square root of 65 units. And that is approximately equal to 8.06 uh, units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.